haven't had a chance to really do like a uh, a video like I wanted to do. Well, I, I have, but they were mostly like long two-hour streams. So basically what I'm going to do is in a shorter video, we're going to keep this about 10, you know, the 15 minutes or so, maybe less, to explain why I feel that Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. has a great chance. And in my opinion, I'm going out there and I'm going to say, I feel that Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. is going to beat Canelo Alvarez. Now, my the, the, the biggest question I have is, what if Canelo's power doesn't carry up? Chavez Jr. has been fighting at middleweight since what? I'm talking about 160 pounds um, over since what? 2007 or some shit like that? So the point I'm trying to make is, let me go check and be, um, and be sure. The point I'm trying to make is Chavez Jr. has taken bigger punches from bigger fighters. You know, but interviewing Fanfara about a week or so ago, how long has he been? His first fight above 154 pounds was in 2008, almost 10 years. Now, we know he fought as high as, what was that, uh, 173 pounds against Brian Vera, and then um, a catch weight of 172 against Fanfara. Now, what happened with the Fanfara fight? Chavez Jr. was doing some good body work, but did you notice that Usually, Chavez Jr. is known to be a bully and to walk down his fighters, the fighters that he fight, and he's known to be the stronger and the bigger of the two fighters. When it came to Fafara, he couldn't do that. So I'm asking you, right, what can Canelo do if his power doesn't carry up? Canelo had some issues hurting Cotto, did he not? Canelo, I've heard, I've heard people say that Canelo's going to um, put, on, put on a performance like, um, Antonio, like Pacquiao did against Antonio Margarito. Canelo fights in three-punch burst. What if Canelo doesn't have the power to keep Chavez Jr. off of him? Chavez Jr. is going to keep coming. Chavez Jr. don't fight on the back foot. Don't get me wrong. When Sergio Martinez was fucking his face up, Chavez Jr. still kept coming forward. And if you noticed about Canelo, later on in fights, he likes to chill on the ropes. You do not want to be on the ropes against Canelo Alvarez. So the fact that there, the fact that this fight, this fight has no, no, um. No a rehydration clause. I've noticed that when I ask people, how is Canelo going to beat Chavez? They say, well, Chavez is going to be drained. That's what everybody's with. The people who are picking Canelo, from my understanding, are okay, they, they are saying skills. But many, many, many are relying for Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. to be weight drained. I've noticed that. Ask people how you know how they think Chavez is going to win. They say, oh, he's going to be dead on that scale. Chavez is in the best shape of his career right now. This is the, this is the most focus that not only not only that we've seen go look because I know you probably don't believe it that not only we've seen his fans but the people around him from his father saying it, from um from a Nacho saying it, from the people who are in his camp saying yo he's focused he's not eating no dumb shit he's not getting high on pot. You know, he's he's going to the gym. He's not training in his living room. He's really on some shit. And this is the biggest fight of his career. This is a Mexican glory fight. So once again, if Chavez Jr. is not drained, and what if Canelo's power doesn't carry up? Just like Chavez Jr. probably didn't carry up against um, against Cotto. Or more so, not didn't carry up, it didn't hurt Cotto. He's in Chavez Jr.'s territory right now. You know, and Canelo may have, may be the most, may be the accurate puncher, right? But look at, look, do you feel that Canelo is a harder puncher than Sergio Martinez? Just my personal opinion. I'm just asking. You know, Andy Lee, you know, you look at Fanfar, a full 175 pounder. He didn't knock Chavez out. Chavez quit because Chavez's will was broken. Don't get me wrong, he knocked his ass down, but Chavez's will was broken. Chavez was doing all that body work, and that shit didn't be that shit didn't be nothing. So if you don't know, the fight's going to be sold out. It's going to be on HBO pay per view. Um, it's going to be outrageously lit, and right now the fight means so much because what if Canelo loses? You know, what if Canelo loses? Um, Oscar De La Hoya is already talking about there's going to be a rematch. Somebody needs to confirm that. I believe there is a rematch clause. But what if Canelo loses? He's going to look like, oh, you know. I mean, I understand that the Chavez fight is a much bigger money fight than Golovkin it is. But if he loses, then, you know, Golovkin and his team's going to have a field day with this. 
So they're talking about that if they beat Chavez, they're going to fight Golovkin in um, in um, the fall, but Golovkin's got to accept the offer. From my understanding, the offer was $10 million, now it's $15 million. Here's the thing about that. Here's how I honestly feel. I honestly feel that the $10 million was too low, but I think he should take the $15 million. I honestly feel he should take that $15 million, my personal opinion. If the offer is really $15 million, I, 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 think, I think he should take it. Because what other fight can he generate that type of money. Now, I understand they're going to hold out as long as they can because Canelo is eventually, if he beats um, Chavez, he can't fight at 154 no more. We know he's having issues with that. You know, so I guess they're, I guess they're, you know, trying to hold out to see if Canelo is um, going to have to stay at 160, you know, and he's going to have to get a belt there. That's why you're hearing that um, Golovkin versus Saunders is done for the for, for June in Kazakhstan. And if you don't know, here's the reason why I feel it's done, doing, you know, what's called a little bit investigative journalism, but at the same time, it's kind of like common sense. Um, Billy Joe Saunders, mandatory, is fighting for an interim belt. Why is there an interim belt if, if, why is there an interim belt if Billy Joe Saunders is not injured? You dig me? So, that, um, Kurt Cedis guy took some step aside money, but that's a whole nother video to talk about. Like, I'm dead ass serious. So, so all the writing and political writing is on the wall for Golovkin versus Saunders in the summer. So, but anyway, I really feel Chavez did does have a chance. I just think that people are, you know, counting him out because, as I said, you know, because they don't think he's going to be able to make that weight. When, by the way, he has this best strength and conditioning coach in the world. Even though he's shady, Mimo Haradir is the best strength and conditioning coach in the world. You know, damn, I fucked up my camera. Whatever, we'll fix it. So, there's so many things going, going, going his way, and then that height. You see them two at the. You, you see them two face to face. You know, Canelo doesn't fire in no four or five punch burst. Chavez is going to be walking him down. What if the power doesn't carry up? Isn't that a legitimate question? What if the power doesn't carry up? But anyway, we'll just have to see, man. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. We're back. We're going to pump out a lot more short videos. Um, thank you for bearing with me um, for this, what, close to, uh, I guess, two years now? June, July will be two years since I haven't been doing videos consistently. Now we're going to be pumping out three to um, five videos a day. we got a podcast coming. Um, the website is going to be more active than ever. And now, you know, we, we made it. We're here. Please subscribe. All the links to my social media are right down below in the description box. Please visit Fight View 360, where now we're going to be pumping out all kind of Canelo versus Chavez con content. We're behind, I know, but we're catching up. And um, I'm not going to say that we're going to be at the fight or have somebody there yet. We have about another two or so, three weeks to two weeks or so to decide, three weeks or so to decide. So we're going to cross that bridge when we get to it. Please subscribe.